And I think the best example of this is like literally Darwin's finches. So you've got like, you know, one finch that has like a hard beak that can crack a nut. You've got another finch that has a very sharp beak that can get like a, a, a bug out of like a cactus, like that has these very like tight, tight flowers. And so if something happens and all the cacti die out, the birds that rely on the cacti bugs will start to die out too. They don't know how to procreate in this world anymore. And I think what we're seeing with like all these alphas, betas, incels, what we're seeing in South Korea is there is a whole generation of men that is like we are literally watching them die out in real time because we've got 32-year-olds, 35-year-olds who do not have children, do not know how they're going to ever have children. And this is where, like, I know this sounds bizarre, but so that's actually happening. That's not bizarre. That's birth rate in South Korea is like 0.7. But I, I almost wonder, is there a mechanism in a human being that if your genes know they're dying out, what would they trigger in your mind? Right? And I think what they would trigger is exactly what we're seeing. This like existential panic, angst, even aggression, entitlement.